Hi, my name is Paul Ackerman. And I'm the Director of Therapeutic Endoscopy at University of Gastroenterology in Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, so there's uh, different components to the, uh, the 190s, uh, the scope itself and the, how, it, uh, how it functions as a scope. Uh, the other part is the improved visualization. Uh, the improved visualization has been uh, uh, in, in terms of the, the high def uh, and the uh, narrow band imaging and, the, uh, uh, and along with that with the new screens we got uh, were a, a significant improvement as far as uh, uh, our ability to just detect and see things. Um, and uh, um, Although we haven't quantified in our, in our in our office, there's a feeling that our detection rates are higher, uh, and uh, certainly it is uh, uh, better quality images uh, and uh, uh, makes the experience of it, I think, uh, significantly better. So the, the the dual focus actually comes in quite handy. Uh, you don't need it uh, that much because the the uh, um, the images are so good, but occasionally uh, for uh, uh, for close up work. Uh, for really being able to see and identify, particularly in cases where you're interested in the pit pattern, uh, can be extremely helpful. Uh, looking at the pit pattern can be extremely helpful for deciding whether you remove something or not. Uh, if you decide uh, not to remove it, that uh, saves the overall uh, uh, cost of the procedure and cost uh, uh, of doing colonoscopy significantly. Uh, so I, I think the, the dual images is extremely helpful um, and uh, allows us to uh, decide and uh, what we're going to take off, when we're going to take off, and sometimes even how we're going to take it off. So the uh, the still images uh, technology is really nice. Uh, it used to be that you had to uh, uh, um, constantly uh, uh, hit the uh, uh, freeze button. Now because it actually selects uh, uh, the best is, is really a significant improvement. You just hit the button, it selects the best image. It's terrific. Yeah, I, I think it reduces time on uh, of the procedure itself, uh, particularly for going in. Uh, of course, coming out is not. Uh, we're not trying to come out and view things any faster. We are. Uh, uh, we're, we're trying to reduce the uh, uh, the time of procedure that isn't related to detection of polyps. Uh, so the uh, the actual advancement of the scope because it's easier, um, uh, because it's a better scope. Uh, the uh, 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 characteristics of the scope in terms of stiffness and flexibility and the, abil uh, the, the ability to vary that along with the uh, ability to inject water uh, has made it uh, the actual advancement of the scope uh, significantly faster. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a clear and significant advantage over the, uh, the previous series. Uh, and uh, um, you have less patient discomfort afterwards. Uh, there's less patient uh, pressure and movement. Um, for our nurses itself, there's a significant advantage because they don't have to move the patient as often. Uh, patients are oftentimes a little bit bigger nowadays, uh, so actually moving these patients is not a trivial matter. Uh, and uh, uh, so not having to move the patients, uh, uh, less air in, uh, less some, and uh, quantifiably less medications the patients get, so the patients benefit from all that. No, the, the, the 190 has been, I, I can't overstate how... Um, significant an improvement it is over the 180 series. Um, and it really goes to improving to a, to a significant degree both the physician end uh, in terms of the uh, how the scope functions, the visualization, uh, and also the patient experience. So I um, uh, and also not, not to exclude the, the, the nurses, because I think if we improve all that, makes their job a little bit easier, improves, f f uh, uh, reduces time uh, for the procedure, uh, which is increases for the unit, increases throughput. It's a win-win-win it's a all around.